Welcome to Muddy Ruts YouTube. We took an awesome trip to South Lake Tahoe camping and four wheeling. Check out our camp setup and some of our gear. Hope you enjoy the video. Road paving at Echo Summit gave me a chance to make a video. You can see all the burnt trees from previous Tahoe fires. My wife drove her gladiator up separately. I had camp set up by the time she got there. Vikings home in Emerald Bay. You can see the frozen waterfall in the distance. We've had the X-Venture 3 about 10 months, and it's been awesome. I learned that stars go on the left when you hang your flag. We settled in early to get an early start in the morning. My new Zargis dry box helps me out if you use the link to buy one in the description. I've had this iron pan a long time and it's a lot older than me. I'm not sure if it's a place for camping or if it's a for good or if it's a pan is that good. We didn't know where to go wheeling in Tahoe, so we went to the Forest Service. It was closed. But a helpful employee gave us this 11-year-old map out of the back of his truck and some great advice on where to go. Sawmill Pond OHV. A fishing spot, a motocross track, and a quick loop for the Jeep with incredible views and some exciting off-road obstacles. My wife handed this Wrangler Willys diesel down to me after she got her Gladiator diesel. Soon it'll be getting a two inch lift kit. If you're enjoying the video, please take the time to like and subscribe. Awesome place to take the Jeep and a beautiful day in South Lake Tahoe. This Willys Wrangler Eco Diesel has been great. I was a little nervous about buying it because the engine was so new, but so far it's been fantastic.
back to camp, it was time to make dinner. Portobello mushrooms and some wild caught Alaskan salmon. The wind was blowing like crazy, supposedly up to 35 miles an hour. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video, part two of my Tahoe trip.